She went a little further. She ran into a lion. <laughs> and the lion's problem was is he didn't have any courage. And the devil would have us to believe that we have men that don't have courage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that we're always running from something. That when trouble happens in the home, we're the first ones to leave. That when financial crisis happens, we don't want to deal with it. When situations happen uh, that, that, are over, that overcome us, we're the first ones to commit suicide. That, that he wants us to believe that we're scared, that, that we're, we're, we're sissies. Uh, Y'all don't want to hear this. Uh, he, wa he wants us to believe that we're going to tuck our tail and run. But slap your neighbor a high five one more time and say, the devil is alive. The devil is alive. Because God is raising up some real men of God. God is raising up some good fathers and some good husbands. God is raising up some men that will stand with the church, that will stand with God, that will help build the kingdom of God. God is going to raise up some men that will make a difference in your community. You got some courage. Step your neighbor. I have I said, I got a fight in me. I got a fight in me. I got a fight in me. I'm going to fight for what's right. I'm going to fight for my marriage. I'm going to fight for my finances. I'm going to fight for my children. Slap somebody. Come on, women. Slap somebody. Say, I got a fight in me. I got a fight in me. Praise God. I will not die. I will not die until I see the manifestations of God. It shall come to pass. It shall come to pass. I ain't going to faint. I ain't going to lose heart. I got to fight in me. Scripture says, fight the good fight of faith. How many got a fight in you? Just, just, just do like this if you got a fight. I got a fight. I got a fight in me. I got a fight. Bring it on, devil. Bring on the trials of life.